Jamie, disappointing result tonight. 3 0 defeat away at Boston United. First of all, obviously, thoughts on the game? Look, confidence is, is low at the moment. Um, it was always going to be difficult coming here tonight, new manager. Um, I thought they played, you know, they played well. But we can't do what we're doing again in, in periods of a game, dominating in the first half of 20, 30 minutes, not taking a goal. They've gone and got their goal, and then it was all, you know, it was all them. We seem to just lose a whole load of confidence when something goes against us, and that's something that we need to try and get, you know, to try and counteract. I feel sorry for for a few of the players. I feel sorry for our fans who've travelled and who were excellent. Our fans were brilliant, and they even you know they applauded and clapped the lads off at the end because they just want players who are going to work for the shirt and you know put a shift in. But you know, if I was if I was watching what we're doing at the moment or listening to me again, I'd be saying same old, same old because it does feel the same. Lots of lapses of concentration, switching off at key moments, and and then when we've got the ball, you know, when we've got the ball, we look really good. We shifted it really well, and we had, as I say in the first half, two or three. Half decent chances, we take them, and it's a different game of football. But you know that's what I'm saying at half time. Trying to galvanise the lads at half time, you know, asking for a bit of character, um, and then they came out and, and and scored the early goal, and then that you know that was it really. Their game plan obviously changed a little bit, and they didn't really need to do too much. But we did see some characters in the second half. We did see players who were getting on the ball, players who were wanting to try and make things happen, players who were making mistakes but still showing again and. And having a character to show, and that's what look—that's what we're going to need now. We're eight games in. We've not got a lot to show for those eight games, and we're going to need characters, including me. My character is going to be tested. The players, the um, the fans, the fans, um, and people behind the scenes. It's a t it's a test of character, and we need to do better, you know, because at the moment um, we can't just turn up for periods of games and then expect to win it because that's what's happening at the moment. We need we need a lot more. Obviously, injuries have been difficult, plenty out. Um, two through the door recently. Uh, Zach Dernley um, signed for the Bucks this week and Luke Burke coming on a season-long loan from AFC Fylde. Um Obviously, kept under wraps right up until till the team sheet went in. Obviously, is that by design for you just to try and it's the best you can keep, keep things concealed from the opposition? Well... Look, we've been short on bodies again. You know, I'm not one to make any excuses, and it's not things that I've sort of, you know, publicised too much. But we have, we have been short. We've been down to 12 and 13 fit lads, lads playing through in um, through injuries. We've had eight lads on the on a treatment table. Um, some of them for for three or four weeks, and some of them longer. And obviously, that look that scuppers your plans. But it also gives other lads an opportunity. Um, and some other lads probably not. You know, there's lads sitting on the bench tonight who who've done done absolutely nothing wrong and need an opportunity in the team and I've, I've probably not given them one but you know when things go like this we've got the likes of Lyndon and Greavesy and, and Matty, Tommy Elliott's coming back, Josh Granite's not too far off coming back so you know look it's, it's, it, it's football it's eight games in we've made uh, we've had a few lapses as I say tonight and so something's got to change hasn't it something's got to change the lads have got to do better systems might change and other people are going to come in and that's what you know. That's what happens. I'm not one to do you know have any knee-jerk reactions, but it's quite obvious that we were missing a few to support the lads who were already there, and we need to be in a better position come Saturday. Because Saturday's going to be tough. We've got Alfreton at home in the FA Cup. That's going to be a tough game, and we've got a really tough run of fixtures where we're going to need every man to stand up and be counted. Um, I'm giving it my all. I'm going to continue giving it my all. Um, I think the fans can see that the players are are doing what they can but I think they can also see as the players can see because there's honesty about them that it's it's not good enough at moments in the game and when we drop we concede and when we concede things go against us um, and we need to get out of that little rut and we will do we will do I've been in this position before as a manager I've been in this before as a player and it's it's you know that those characters that will puff out the chest and, and stand strong stick together as a team get through it um, and hopefully the ninth, tenth, eleventh game in will be will be more positive for us. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Obviously, good luck Saturday FA Cup at the time at Sullivan Stadium versus Alfreton. Thank you.